All right, it's time for episode 34 of Inside 300, presented by InsideTheMagic.com. I'm your host, Brian Perry, and there has been a ton of Disney Park news over the last few days, so we do not have a lot of time to delay. We're going coast to coast like butter on toast. Disneyland, Disney World, Star Wars Hotel, Magic Keys, Bo Peep getting a statue, Buzz Lightyear getting shunned. Inside 300 starts right, right now. It was a tough call to decide what our lead story was going to be this morning, but we're riding with the Star Wars Hotel arriving at Walt Disney World next year because the prices are out, and are they a sight to behold? After releasing their first official commercial, which included a daughter telling her dad they needed to save the ship and the dad saying, no, we needed to save the galaxy, the Galactic Star Cruiser's website was updated, and here are your prices. Drum roll, please. The two-night excursion will run a pair of adults $1,209 per night per person. That's $4,809 for two nights total. I will say, I'm not exaggerating when I think that this is Disney Parks' most ambitious project of all time. It's extremely exciting, from the lightsaber training to the droid racing and the Rise of the Resistance front of line access. The storytelling or story living is going to be unmatched. I really hope it succeeds. But these prices are pretty much as ambitious as the project. One note that I do have to point out, the website does a great job at explaining what's going to be included in your two-night adventure, like dining options, a Hollywood Studios ticket, live entertainment. But it is here, under the amenities, that really got me to do a double take. Apparently, Disney deemed it a selling point to let us know that H2O Plus shower products will be included. You know, I wasn't going to book this $5,000 reservation, but when I saw the rooms came with standard Disney shampoo and soap, I pulled my credit card out. We'll dive deeper into what you can expect if you stay at the Star Cruiser Hotel on our next episode, but for now, visit InsideTheMagic.com for more info. All right, here's everything you need to know about the Magic Key, Disneyland's new annual pass-esque program. The system replaces the annual passes with a four-tiered program ranging from $399 all the way up to $1,399. Let's explain how it differs from its predecessor. First off, the four magic keys, different from the five keys Disney uses to guide cast members in training, are all reservation-based, meaning guests will need to make park reservations in advance when visiting Disneyland Resort. They can do that via the app or Disneyland.com. The more money you spend, the more reservations you can hold at once, and the less blockout dates you have. The names of the keys are the Imagine, Enchant, Believe, and Dream. Outside of the Dream, they sound like scrapped Disney Cruise Line ship names, but, you know, they work. Let's start with the cheapest option, the Imagine key, coming in at $399. You'll notice that it only allows two park reservations at a time. As for blockout dates, check this out. You'll only be allowed to access the parks on most Mondays through Thursdays, with a few extra Fridays sprinkled in. No access on the weekends, no access between June 2nd and August 22nd of 2022. The next level up, the Enchant Key, allows you to double your reservations, now up to four at a time, and gives you access to far more days. Then comes the Believe Key, which is nearly a thousand bucks and doesn't include free parking, which is a whole nother hour-long video we can make, but we're not going to. It gives you access to next summer's packed parks and lets you hold six reservations at a time. I guess it's worth noting that the obscene parking prices will be cut in half if you fork over the $949 for the Believe Key. And finally, there's the Dream, which is the high price point. Six reservations at a time, like the Believe. Free parking, 20% off merch, 15% off dining, and $1,399 out of your pocket. Included with a Magic Key membership are a few perks found throughout the resort, including the Magic Key Terrace, which is a reservation-based lounge exclusive to key holders. One final note about the keys, which is interesting. Disney made mention that it will be strict regarding guests who excessively no-show their booked reservations. Makes sense. Don't hog up a spot via reservation and not show up. Simple enough. So there you have it. You can purchase your Magic Key beginning August 25th, thus unlocking a visit to Disneyland Park or California Adventure. If you choose to join the club in the first 66 days that it's available for purchase, You'll receive a special welcome package. How nice. 
Over on the other side, Walt Disney World is not running with the key theming. They apparently said, eh, annual pass is good enough for us. The Florida destination was mentioned at the bottom of the Disney Parks blog article about the Magic Key, though all that was said was that new pass sales would become available in time for the start of the 50th anniversary. And finally, it was Annie Potts, the voice of Bo Peep in Pixar's Toy Story franchise, making the announcement that her character would be joined by Sheriff Woody as two sculptures in Disney's Fab 50 collection. The two will be headed to Hollywood Studios. Space Ranger fans are outraged that Buzz isn't next to Woody, but one person is laughing hysterically. <laughs> That's going to do it for episode 34, but remember tomorrow we launch our brand new show, Interviewing the Magic, where I sit down with unique current and former cast members who have brought magic to the Walt Disney World Resort. Episode 1, again, is tomorrow, August 6th, and I sit down with the face of Inside Disney Parks, Mr. Mark Daniel, to talk about his career and play a little Diz or Dad. That'll do it for this episode of Inside 300. I will see you on Saturday morning, and as always... Bye-bye.